Hey y'all, it's your girl. We back, not doing anything cool today. I'm just really talking. And basically, maybe I won't get a lot of views on this and I really don't care just because this is for me. This is for me to reflect on myself later in life when I look at this. Um, so I read a book, I don't read, but I read a book I'm almost done, sorry, I'm reading a book. And it really has opened my mind a little bit and it's really made me accept a lot of things and I'm glad um, because it was something that I really wanted. I really wanted to be able to be open to these kind of things and be able to open my, my mind and my eyes to what I've done to torture myself. Well, this book, was basically telling me about myself because everything that the book was saying not to do, I was doing. Like, damn, I'm really toxic. I'm a toxic person. And not like a toxic person, but a, okay, yes, a toxic person, but to myself. We really just can't let people control us, let people affect our well being, affect our mindset, because. Everything that happens to us, everything that we do, or everything that we take from people is because we allow it. All I'm saying is that nobody's perfect. Nobody's ever gonna be perfect. Nobody's gonna be the perfect daughter, the perfect sister, the perfect girlfriend, perfect boyfriend, perfect grandma, you know all that shit. Well, nobody's perfect. I'm saying this because we shouldn't set our expectations for people. Like, if you expect something from somebody, you're expect you're expecting them to be perfect. You're expecting them to be this picture that you painted when they're their own picture. They're their own artist. Don't let people tell you about who you are or about what you what you're doing because they're trying to paint a picture of you how they want you to be like no i'm not gonna be this person for you because i'm my own person i do my own things i do things differently than you and i'm not gonna be what you want me to be and we just have to learn how to stop making these expectations for people because it disappoints us and and that's what makes most relationships friendships and um intimate relationships go wrong because we're just setting all these expectations and we want them to do this we want them to do that and it's like no we shouldn't force somebody to do something we shouldn't force them to want to do stuff for us because it's in them it's what they want and if they don't want it they don't want to do it cool like that's on them that's that's just how they are it's just something that we all do we just expect so much from these people and once we don't get it we're upset but we make ourselves upset because of what we expected so when we don't get it or we don't get it the way we want it then we're mad why, why are we making ourselves mad and then we let things affect us we if we let what people say to us affect us and we're believing them it's things that we shouldn't even believe in it's crazy how we don't grow up with the same morals we don't grow up with the same expectations from things take that kind of stuff into consideration with other people because everybody's different they don't come from the same streets as you they don't come from the same you know lifestyle so sometimes people don't learn the same things as you or maybe they learned it too late or maybe they learned it too early we have to realize that and we can't just expect people to be on the same page as us. And there are certain situations where y'all are on the same page and then you turn the page and then it's a whole different story. And I feel like I always think about that kind of stuff. Like I'm a real deep thinker. Like I'm not saying I always put people into consideration before I do things, but 70% of the time I do. I always learn from my mistakes. And anytime something bad happens or I think it's bad or anytime I think something doesn't go my way or something blows up or something like that, like I'm just like, okay, what do I, what do I 
get from this like why did this happen why did i why what should i what should have i done to prevent this or what should i have done to where it didn't you know be this big deal and stuff like that i really like that about myself i can say that because i'm i'm a very um i'm open to learning i don't know what i was trying to say um i'm more open-minded to actual actually learning from my mistakes i'm not the type of person to be like oh they did that you know uh that's on them that's their fault i didn't do shit i what i, I didn't do shit to them duh, 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 this and that because i did because i did something i did something to make it you know be the way it did or i had my part and everybody has their part in situations and it's up to you to choose your part choose your role choose your reaction and it all begins with you i'm sorry i had to burp and it all begins with you taking things too personally i feel like that's a lot of people these days problem is that we take everything so personally i feel like that's why bullying is such a big deal because we just take everything personally and we've learned to accept to take things personally because if we take it personally then we're letting it affect us and letting it um change who we are and letting it be part of us and it's like that's how people become so distant because they're sitting back and they're like damn they said this about me or man like they're right and stuff like that and it's like no they're not right you're who you you're who you say you are you have to be able to speak to yourself in a positive way and then other people will speak in a positive way about you somebody calls you fat you're gonna believe it i mean either you can believe it or you can accept it and backfire and talk yourself up i love seeing um girls just love themselves and it's like it's so empowering because you're able to take what other people think of you and just throw it out the window and just think about yourself and really see the beauty in yourself and that's what makes people beautiful is what they see for themselves and they're able to say that they're beautiful despite what other people think about them and it's just like yes sis, like you do that shit honestly like lately i've kind of been seeing that in myself like i can kind of do that now and it's always because i always just didn't want to be too much for people i didn't want to talk about myself too much because it's like oh they probably think i'm selfish or you know like i'm just full of myself it's okay like you should be able to talk about yourself in a positive way without somebody thinking negative about it and it's like if they're thinking negative about what you say about yourself or like she's the she's conceited or something like that it's okay to be conceited but if you have a problem with it then there's obviously a problem that you have with yourself and i've learned that like it's like okay like they're just really loving themselves and that's good because i wish i was able to love myself like that it's just like people have these expectations and standards and it's like just be you fam like just do you make yourself better don't think about what other people do don't don't you shouldn't have to care about what other people do because it's not you it's not you so leave them alone worry about yourself business get some look at me <laughs> but for real like don't take things personally don't ever take things personally because it's just not good for you because we all have our own belief system and if we put what other people say into our belief system we can't be happy somebody calls you a hoe you say ooh. you let that affect you ooh. Maybe I am a hoe. Maybe I'm not. Bitch, I'm a hoe. No, <laughs> even if you are, like you know, like it's okay. Like if if you know, you know what you're doing. So it's like, okay. Anything else? Like, do you have anything else to say? Are you gonna keep talking down on me? Like, okay, stop. Like, 
what I'm doing is making you mad for what? Worry about yourself. Worry about your own doings. Like, do you, sis? Do you, sis? Or do you, boo? And so it's like, you you shouldn't matter to other people. Their opinions shouldn't matter to you. Um, because opinions are opinions. They're not facts. Facts. Opinions aren't fucking facts. So do not let opinions rule you. Do not let opinions affect the way that you are. Because once you accept opinions, you're going to live by those opinions. And you're going to be this whole different person that you're not. You're not going to be yourself, for one. You're going to be this fake-ass, fucking, ugly-ass drawing. And you're a beautiful-ass masterpiece. Um, But... Another thing is to not assume. We cannot make assumptions. Assumptions lead to problems and conflicts and shit like that. Facts. Because I am a assumer. I'm not even gonna lie. I assume way too much shit. Way too much shit. That's why none of my relationships worked out. Because I assume too much and I can't do that. But I've learned. I've. I've I'm beginning to learn. I'm going to say that. I'm beginning to learn to not assume things all the time because that's just not really what it is. If you want to know something, ask. And if, and if you just going to assume, it's because you can't handle the truth. It's really what it is. I can't handle the truth. Despite if, what my, if my assumption's wrong or right, I can't handle the truth. I just can't. I just can't accept it. I don't want to accept it because I'm just like, ooh, maybe they're lying. Like, there's oh, because there's always that point. There's always that, that, what's it called, what's it called, what's it called? Possibility. There's always that possibility that they're lying. Sometimes you just have to take a risk and just accept that maybe they're not lying. Yeah, we just can't be assuming things because if we assume something, we're going to react on that assumption. And once we react on that assumption, the end result is never going to be good. Ever, 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 ever. Or it could have played out differently, better. You know, like you just never know. So it's good to just not assume things. You accept things for what they are. And once the truth comes out, I mean, boom, like there you go. Like, oh, okay. Like, it's hard for us to not assume because we've done it our whole life because we've seen other people assume their whole lives so it's like it's a learned trait it's a learned trait that we've learned from other people like that's why a lot of people aren't happy is because we just assume things and we take things too personally and it's like why are we doing that we build up these expectations to be perfect so badly We're fucking human we don't know what's gonna happen we don't know anything we just we just can't be doing that shit we can't assume our life either you can't think of the bad things of um of situations or the future because that it's just gonna end up happening because you're like oh it's just gonna be in your mind that that's just what's gonna happen that's like the bad thing is just gonna happen and it's gonna end up happening because you're basically manifesting it once you assume something you're manifesting it facts we just can't assume things and it's like but i need to and it's like no you don't i just i just feel like i assumed so much in my past relationships that i just became this crazy ass person i'm not crazy but I just was always an assumer and never just asked or never just expressed myself. I've never, I was never the type to express my feelings in a situation and then that's why they never worked. They would ask me, what's wrong? Why are you mad? Or why are you acting like that? Or this and that. And I'm just like, nothing, no reason. Don't worry about it. Hmm? You'll be all right. You'll be all right. I'm just chilling. And it's like, why am I like that? Like, I just couldn't pin to what it was. And it's because I fucking assumed all the fucking time. And I realize that now, like, I need to stop fucking assuming. 
it's okay it's okay i'm, I'm gonna be okay i'm gonna learn i'm gonna learn i'm gonna learn it's just crazy because damn why did i assume so much and i'm not saying i didn't ever do anything in my relationships but i just feel like i always gave too much and or i did too much for them and i was just too open and too too eager to do things for who i was in a relationship with because i felt like i needed to but then it would be like are they gonna do the same for me and nine times out of ten it was never that way it was never it was never equal i was always doing more giving more so it was just it drained me like i always fall for the same type of people I always wanted to be this perfect girlfriend i wanted to be the best friend just somebody that they could talk to somebody they could you know laugh with have jokes and you know just have fun with and i don't think i've ever just been in a relationship to where i just had so much fun never never got really taken out before really been on dates or anything like that seen in public with people like who the freak is calling me i don't know but they're not getting an answer and it's like i feel like i just allowed that i always allowed it and i hate that i allowed so much shit to happen to me or, or i allowed so much shit to fall through because why i always knew i desired better but it was just me feeling bad all the time because the excuses that people would make i would just accept them and it's like why am i accepting your lame ass excuses because at the end of the day i just this is how i feel about dates and shit like that i shouldn't feel like i need to ask for your time if i'm in a relationship with you i should not feel like i should ask for your time I feel like we should both want time with each other. Not just me. I shouldn't have to be like, hey, can we do this? Or we should do this. If I'm not getting that same energy back, I'm just not gonna ask because now I feel like I'm a bother. I shouldn't feel like a bother if I'm your girlfriend. I just feel stupid for even allowing some stupid shit to, be, to, to happen like that or be like that or accept that I wasn't enough to be treated like a girlfriend. Why did I allow that shit? Because now it's like, what the fuck? I was, oh, not that I'm always a problem in the relationship, but I have my faults. I assume I, I was taking things too personally. Like, I don't like being told that I'm ugly, especially by somebody that I expect to think that I'm this pretty ass person <laughs> or that I'm, you know, beautiful, like, nobody has ever nobody i've been in a relationship with or just talked to has ever just complimented has ever just complimented me that's why i drive away so many people that do compliment me because now i'm just like you're weird like don't do that it's like not saying that i don't like i know i'm i'm attractive and pretty and stuff but at the same time it's like i wasn't getting what i wanted so the fact that i wasn't getting what i wanted it brought me to just be this insecure female and I did not like being insecure like I shouldn't let people what people think of me affect my personality or affect my way of life because once I felt that I was just ugly I didn't do anything I want to do my hair and that's just because nobody ever made me feel like I was just pretty or I was just attractive or people said I did too much or I the what what I wore and stuff like that and I don't like that. people don't really understand how words really do affect people like I don't care if you're playing that I'm ugly but if you just keep repeating it repeating it repeating it and just saying that I'm ugly and I'm fat and this and that because I'm not fat I know for a fact I'm not fat but I know I'm not where i want to be with my body so it's like the fact that you're calling me fat it just makes me think like damn am i getting fat or what do i need to do to keep myself up and this and that and it's like i shouldn't have to do anything then again it all ends with me accepting what they said to me and the fact that i used to accept everything that somebody would say to me their opinions of me and everything it just makes me realize like damn i was stupid 
I really let people affect my emotions. I really like let people affect myself and how I thought of myself. So I just know that words really do control you.